going on guys? This is Coach Brad. I'm introducing you to a new video in the Landmine series. We're going to combine an upper body pull and an upper body push. We're going to add a little bit of a trunk rotation somewhere in the middle. I call this one the row to press, but it's a quarter turn row to press. <clears throat> what you would do is start in a very deep bent over row position so that the end of the bar is right up the center of your body. You're going to grab with your thumb underneath the bar, meaning this way, not this way, down here. Okay? You're going to row up and out, which is basically we're performing what's called a meadows row. That'll be in another video. Right about shoulder height, you're going to grab with the other hand, turn a quarter turn, and push out with your opposite arm. Then you're going to lower back to shoulder height, get back into your bent position. Lower the bar under control. So row, quarter turn, press, hand it off, back to the original arm. Row, quarter turn, press, deep bent row position. Okay. I'll show you a couple on this side. Row, quarter turn, press. Notice I'm turning my back foot for the pivot. Here's a common mistake I see, is that people come up too high, they come to a higher trunk angle before they pass off to their other hand. The reason I don't like that is because you're losing a lot of the loading on your shoulder and upper back muscles, unless you're down here. Which way does gravity run, guys? Up and down, right? You've got to be perpendicular to gravity to get the most force out of that row, most resistance, rather. Then we can switch it off, okay? Notice my front foot doesn't really pivot, just the back one. I'm doing one of these, okay? Hip rotation. So again, deep row, pass it off. Kind of wait until the last second to come up. Guys, try this out. This is a nice little full body exercise. This has been your barbell, landmine, quarter turn, row to press. Have fun.